To set gems on mesh in ZBrush with Ring Builder 5 Gem Setting Tool, you need the Ring Builder 5 interface and Ring Builder files copied to your Z Startup folder. Follow the link on the screen for detailed instructions. After installation, load Ring Builder tool. When your model is done, go to Layers tab. Click on Bake All, delete subdivision levels. Choose Gems Brush and Stone Size. Make sure your draw size is dynamic and that you haven't changed it after choosing the gem size. Because your gem size depends on the draw size. To set gem on the model, click and drag, then hold control button to set fixed gem size. To move the stone hold space. The cutters come with the gems and have flipped normals to be invisible while working. In order to make them visible press double button. To set prongs, choose them from Gems IMM brush, then choose the size and set them the same way, click and drag, hold control button. After you are done, you should separate the model, gems, cutters and prongs, so you can cut out the gem holes with cutters with boolean operations. To do that, press group button, ZBrush will group the gems, cutters and prongs. It will take some time depending on gem number. You can also use the gem setting tool on your own models. But you should load your model to Ring Builder tool subtools. To do that, duplicate one of your subtools. Click on Bake All, delete subdivision levels and import your model. So that it replaces your duplicated model. With the Ring Builder 5 you can set gems on your models, make full diamond pieces with correct sizes in millimeters, check your model in different metal and gemstone materials.